okay so this is our beam a simply supported beam with a concentrated moment at the support there is a concentrated load if you cannot read it is 15 kip this is 15 kip and then there is a triangular load 6 kip per feet the highest value and it is 9 over 9 feet so what we will do we will draw, draw the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram that is the short form shear force diagram bending moment diagram I can remember in several years back, uh, several years back, when I gave this question uh, that draw shear force SFD and BMD. One student asked during the exam, "What is SFD?" So make sure that you know it. Shear force diagram, bending moment diagram. It is not universal term, but it is very popular term. Okay, so uh, to draw shear force diagram, bending moment diagram, what are the steps? Step number one is a reaction. We need to find all the reaction. That is step number one. Step number two for shear force diagram. What we do? We do follow loads. I'm writing in short. Follow loads. What is step number three for bending moment diagram? Uh, cumulative sum of area of shear force diagram. That are the three small uh, not three small three uh, steps to draw, draw it okay step number one reaction start so i will assume a um, vertical reaction here say it is a uh, vertical reaction here say it is b uh, i can assume a um, a x horizontal reaction so how to do we do summation of apex is zero say right way is positive uh, my only force is ax equals zero there is no other force so ax is zero there is no other force along horizontal reaction in this beam and that is very common in beam typically the load is vertical load now horizontal load is very uncommon okay so one reaction is done, then we will determine other reaction. Say we will find B. How to find B? We know that it's already in, okay. Summation of moment at A is zero. Say clockwise moment is positive. So my first first uh, force. What I am taking? Again, I am taking the moment. So the first moment is 20 kip, and I assume clockwise positive. So 20 kip feet is a positive number. 20 keep it. I have to count it. Second load is 15 keep. What is the distance? Distance is 6 feet. How 6 feet? This 6 feet. You can see here in my concentrated moment, I did not multiply the distance because it is already a moment. If I multiply by distance, it will be moment, second moment. Uh, so that will be wrong. I am taking only moment, first moment. There is no second moment in uh, in like this kind of me mechanics. So do not multiply the distance. Then it will be keep feet square. We see do not need keep feet square. Keep feet. Okay, this uh, for this one it is positive because I assume clockwise positive. My next force is this six. It is a triangular force. So yeah, so I need to make it the uh, sing uh, equivalent single load. E what is the value of equivalent single load? Up. 6 keep per feet 9 feet now this portion is only the force sometimes not sometimes many times i saw that students forget to multiply by the distance when they did did it they thought okay this is not this is 9 feet i already multiplied by distance but this combined part is your force so you have to multiply the distance again uh, okay so here what is this portion this portion will be the centroid of a triangle, which is two third. So I have nine feet, two third is six feet. So my distance will be six plus four is 10 plus six. That means 16 feet. Okay, my last one is B, and B will give me counterclockwise moment because it will go that way, counterclockwise moment. What is the distance? Is uh, six. 4 9 19 equals 0. So that is the equation. If you can write down the equation, actually, you did 
50% of the work here. Okay, so 20 keep per feet. I am using my calculator. Yes, as, as you cannot see me, I have to explain what I am doing. Do not think that I am taking a nap. No. Uh, I got B equals 28.5. So B equals 28.5. Uh, kick. So B equals 28.5 kip. Uh, let me check the calculator. No, I think it is okay. Uh, but still, though, I will check the calculation again because to me it should be larger. Not should be. I, uh, I, I, I guess that it should be larger. Okay. So 20 plus 15 times 6 plus uh, 10, 9. I think I forgot the 16 when I, I calculate the calculation divided by 19. No, no, I did right. So we got 28.9. Okay, next we need to find uh, our A. So how to find A? We will apply summation of A for A is 0. Say upward is positive. Mm, a we assumed upward. Now you can assume assume downward no problem uh, that will in that case it will be negative and also there is a chance that a might be negative why there is a chance you can see the uh, moment you can see the moment here it is that way so i may need to go this way it is uh, possible so if you get negative do not get surprised okay then a upward done then 15 keep is downward done then half 6 keep per feet times 9 feet done plus b b is also upward so 28.5 equals 0 then what will be my a now, again uh, you can see that i did not consider this 20 keep feet moment i did not consider this moment because this that is a moment i am counting force when I will count goat, I will not consider uh, sheep. Okay, so hopefully you understood. So 15 plus <coughs> I got 13.5 and I got a positive number. So it's so good. Yeah. yeah, it was possible that he would get a uh, in a negative number. If my constant moment is huge, then it will be negative. So, yes. So, so you cannot memorize anything. Uh, if I say something, say so instead of 20 keep per feet, if I give 200, I, I believe that uh, A will be negative. So, many things might happen. If you know the concept, very simple. Just follow the concept. <clears throat> okay, so far what we did, uh, we did step number one, reaction. So next we will go to step number two. Uh, before that, I need to memorize the number 28, 13.50. Uh, the beam, I can remember. Okay, make sure you took it. If you did not take it, I will wait a few seconds. Okay, hopefully, 6 for 9, 2015. Okay. Now, if I draw it, here is. 13.5 <coughs> here is 15 here there is a concentrated keep it here there is a uniformly distributed sorry uniformly varying load 6 keep per feet <coughs> excuse me what is my distance it was um, I forgot 6 it was 4 it was 9. Okay. So, first we will draw shear force diagram, uh, say here. So, this way it is fit. And we are drawing shear force diagram. My unit is keep. If you write your unit here, you do not need to show in the diagram. That way your diagram will be clean. Okay. So, what is the first step? Uh, what is the step for shear force diagram? Just follow the loads. Follow the loads. We are doing shear force diagram. So, 
we will follow the load at the beginning what is my load uh, at the beginning my load is you can see 13 and it is up so we will go up so 13.5 now if 13.5 is negative that means down we will go down that is the uh, key point if it is negative so negative positive doesn't matter just follow it if it is negative go down if it is positive go up that's it okay will i consider my moment this moment no why i am taking the force only i will not consider i will i am not concerned about moment now somebody may ask me oh there is a moment it might have some effect uh, then i am not co uh, considering the effect of this uh, of this uh, moment now we considered how wh when we determine the reaction of b, b or reaction of a we actually considered this moment so the effect of this will go to the reaction so that way we, we considered it <clears throat> okay after this there is nothing so we will not do nothing we will keep as it is after coming here <clears throat> this 15 keep told me go down so i will go down and i will come to minus 1.5 if you agree with me uh, yes minus 1.5 then i will not change so i will keep as it is why because there is nothing here after coming here i can see there is a uh, triangular load now sometimes uh, in the past i saw that when, when we determine the reaction we determine we calculated the equivalent load <clears throat> that is only for calculating the reaction we should not consider concentrated load here then the diagram will be wrong except the load is triangular to make the calculation easier we made it um, concentrated load but do not cons consider concentrated load here consider the main load here okay what to do oh now i will go this load is downward and what is the value of this load uh, value of this load is up six and nine that means 27 keep so i had minus 1.5 and if I uh, do minus 27, I will come here. That will be 28 minus 5. Question is, how will I come? Will I come in a straight line? Will I come in a concave up or concave down? There are three ways. I told it in the past that the shape doesn't matter in our engineering. Shape, whatever, if the uh, key values are okay, then it is okay. But you should not like you should learn which one is correct because it may be in the share uh, uh, in the FA exam p exam in your class exam uh, so you need to learn this and it is not so difficult how to find two ways uh, one is apply common sense my load here is zero you can see load here is zero my load here is six hues so at the beginning zero at the last hues so when i'll go down I will go slow, very zero at the beginning. So I will go very slow at the beginning. Then I will go sh sharply down. So that is my value, 28.5. Now that is uh, one way, common sense. Second is, I told, uh, not I told, it's in your book language or it is the um, concept. Whatever the value here, that is the slope here. That is the slope here. The value here is positive, sorry, not positive, negative. It is down up, so negative. Negative increasing. So my slope here will be negative. So at the beginning, you can see slope here is this. At last, my slope is this. So negative slope is increasing. So that is a technical, technical way to do it. But common sense, the plain language is better to me. You do not need to find slope, value. It might be sometimes confusing. Okay, so I will clean this little bit. Uh, yes, it looks a little better. So hopefully you understood why my shape is this, why not my shape is this one or this one. Okay, next we will go for moment diagram. And what, what are the step? A step for moment diagram is take the cumulative sum of the shear force diagram this way is my feet i am drawing shear moment diagram my unit is keep time fit 
okay what is my initial moment at the beginning somebody might say zero you can see at the beginning there is a moment you never saw this kind of moment in last three four days now we have a moment now are you nervous never just uh, whatever moment you have applied how much moment do we have 20 keep per bit clockwise or counterclockwise clockwise when you draw the diagram clockwise moment is positive we know that so that means i should jump at the beginning i have a concentrated moment that is 20 20 i am not writing the unit because i already wrote the unit in my diagram see here in the, in the left keep fit so that is the key point last time we started from zero but this time we did a jump that is only new okay why it is new because there is an external moment okay so we got it next what we will do we will check the area of this what is the area of this it is 6 feet 13.5 13.5 times 6 <clears throat> 13.5 times 6 81 so 81 plus 20 that means it will be 101 after coming here 101 is it linear or concave uh, down or concave up linear how this area is going uh, proportionally or other way you can do whatever the value here that is the slope here value here in the shear force is positive constant slope here is positive constant okay then next area is this area that area is negative how much uh, 1.54 so this area is actually 6 minus 6 then i will go minus 6 i will come somewhere here minus 6 that means still i have 95 here 95 after doing minus uh, straight line or curve straight line how do i know whatever the value here that is the slope here value here is negative constant slope here negative constant after coming here we are here then at the end we know there is a roller support that means moment here will be zero let us check that means we need to do the, this area what is the area of this now to find the area of a curve a curve section uh, there are two ways one is you can do the exact calculation exact calculation means uh, find the equation then do the integration that is the way to for this kind of area the better way to find the area is uh, a y dx that is the way but there's shortcut what is the shortcut that shortcut will give you some mistake but it is okay what is the shortcut maybe you learned it in your serving class the shortcut is uh, say if your area okay if your area is triangle what you do say b is you do half b is if your area is this way for okay this is for this case for this case it is one third b is if your area is that way that will be two third b is so that is the way you can find the area based on the curve now that is approximate it's not exactly but it will be very close to the answer you will see here it will be very close to the answer okay so you can see here my car it has two parts this portion is a uh, rectangle this portion is similar to my okay let's take a new column so next portion the green uh, this portion is similar to this portion okay so first find the area of the rectangle area of the rectangle is 9 feet times 1.5 minus actually 9 times 1.5 13.5 so we got one portion what about the other portion other portion will be one third b what is the ace ace means here to here uh, that means 27 i here to here is 1.5 then 27 so 27 say minus 27 
I got 80.9 then some 13 and 18 I got 94.4 some is 94.4 okay so you can see here what is the value here 95 I have to deduct 94.4 why deduct because this whole part is negative so the you can that after deducting there is a small number that is 0.6 this small number that is 0.6 that is that mistake as we are assuming the area one third now is this mistake a huge mistake you can see uh, mathematically yes Mathematic, mathematically 0 and 0 0.6 is not same but in engineering 0 and 0 0.6 in this case you can see it has no value now why no value because we are not concerned about my value here we are concerned about the maximum value so if it is not zero that means my diagram is not right but close to zero and everybody will understand that this mistake is due to the rounding of mistake okay now how to come here the straight line concave down or concave up common sense very less value here very high value here so go slowly first and then sharp so that is the way or whatever the value here that is the slope here so value here you can see negative and negative increasing slope here negative and negative increasing okay so in this beam what is the key point key point is 101 that is actually the moment with which we will design the beam that is the only value we need nothing else in this diagram everything else is like pineapple i believe you know what is pineapple if you go to walmart now it is 198 dollar per piece what is pineapple we just take a small part from pineapple and trash the other part skin and inside we trash it uh, even sometimes we do not trash it we put it in our backyard okay whatever so this 101 is our main part everything else is we do not need it but we need to learn it and it is in FE exam it is in P exam okay so hopefully you got how to find the moment uh, sorry diagram of a non-conventional bit okay, let me turn off the video it's becoming so big